Good day, Fresno. We're your host, Jason and Ashley. You elect me to be president, I will outlaw Mondays. Somehow. <laughs> Is that appropriate? Look at the Which camera. One? Okay. Which, Which one? one, John? Thank <laughs> yeah, no. you. CBT Weekly News, your place for some entertaining guests. <laughs> Ten seconds to watch. Hello, everybody. I was going to say good morning, but I guess I'm not allowed to say that at this point, am I? Well, I'm sure it's morning somewhere in the U.S. Well, somewhere in the world. Hawaii, it's yeah. still morning. Yeah. So that's that good. Uh, you guys are watching CVT Weekly News, Monday, February 28th. Yeah. Is it the 20th? Oh, wow. I okay, know. so February's over tomorrow. Yes. Fabulous. Oh, this, this year's going by very quickly. Mm. It's only March. Well, it's, yeah, March, but it feels like it's still February 1st. Today. It is still February. No, it feels oh. like it's still February 1st. Like, we just finished one month, and we're already into the third month. Yeah, I'm cool with February ending. Not that it's been a bad month. I'm just cool with the ending. Oh, well, I don't know. I, I don't know if I am, because my son's birthday was on the 19th, so now I'm a year older, because he's a year older. See, I stopped aging at 22, so I feel you should just embrace the same thing. But, hey, March is going to be fun. We have the Rogue Festival coming up here yes, in Fresno. Um... I know at Fresno City College, they're opening a new show this month. Ooh. A new original show. Wow. Yeah. I'll check it out. Written by Chuck Irvin. So oh. it's it's during Rogue. It's in the Rogue. Everybody come down to Tower District. Pick up your Rogue maps. Rogue maps. Come see shows. I'm in one. Come see me. Yes. If anything, you have to see Ash. Yes. And our I guests. play a poodle. Come on. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yep, I'm a poodle. Yeah, but we also have guests who are doing a rogue show, too. We do. We have some amazing guests today. A wonderful dance troupe coming in today. And we actually had them on a few weeks ago. Right. But I cannot wait to see what they bring us today. Oh, I know. I'm very excited about that. Um, now, do we have anything else that we know of for sure that's coming on in March? Other than my daughter's birthday, so. No, that's April. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at the rock opera over here? Yeah. Okay, I guess well, that's April. I don't know. If you have anything... Yes. Any rogue shows you want us to plug, ping them in, and we'll definitely do that. And, yeah. Make sure you check out Love, Art, and Sexual Perversity with me. Okay. Well, definitely. I think, uh, I think it's on page 42. Show. I don't remember. Of the rogue <laughs> Wow, page 42? No, I don't remember. It's on page something. But, yeah, there are, like, that many pages wow. in the roadmap this year. There is so much going on. So many different things, you know. Music and, like theater and dancing and comedy and movies. I know they're showing some different films here mm -hmm. at the Mike at Mike Briggs properties and right. I was looking through they have some great things coming up. Stricken. Yes, I'm from looking Aftershock forward to that. Studios, Matt Scons who was on recently and it's gonna be great. Oh I know. I can't, I can't wait. wait. I'm very excited. Alright well let's go ahead and get on to the Valley headlines. Yes. Sean? You are awesome man. You're always on top of it. <laughs> yeah Sean it's your birthday. Not really. <laughs> All right. Well, of course, the biggest thing right now is the Oscars. Yes. I watched them. I actually watched an abbreviated version of them last night. Ah. I started watching at 11 and just fast-forwarded through all the stupid things. <laughs> but, yes, King's sense. Speech, Best Picture. That's great. I haven't seen it, but Neither I'm sure I. it's really I from, from what I've seen, though. I think it looks really interesting, so... Well, to be honest, I haven't even seen anything about it. Really? I haven't really? seen any previews or anything, yeah. How'd you... Do you not watch television? Well, remember, I have two kids. My TV's almost always set to children's shows. Huh. So I'm, I doubt that yeah. I'd see that on Nickelodeon or Sprout. Sprout. I've watched a lot of Sprout in my day. <laughs> <laughs> but yay for King's Speech. Um, I like... On this paper today, on the Bakersfield, California, and there's quite a few little stories on the front. Yes, I was That's very exciting. impressed. Um, a lot of things to look at. It's yes. not just one picture and maybe two headlines. Um, although the uh, Libya violence story is uh, not exciting in the fact of you know the story itself, but at least the fact that the story's there 
even if it's just the headline, at least we know that there's something going on. We so. know to go to page 18. Yes. And apparently we got a free buy two Coca-Colas at $3 and get one free. Or get a free Sprite at a fast strip. Yeah, who's, who's, giving them, who's giving them advertising now? <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's me. All right, Sean, who do we have next? Fresno B. Okay. Uh, issues plagued FUSD system. Fresno Unified trying to resolve problems with the Atlas system. Well, I mean, they've always had issues with their testing, haven't they? And well, with the systems. I mean, this isn't testing, though. I was looking at it, and it's um, like a, a database where people parents can look at the children's mm -hmm. grades and they're saying that teachers are having a problem in putting the grades and parents are having a problem logging in and on the side I was reading here it says um, beginning Tuesday parents can contact middle schools and high schools and ask for an access code um, and how to log in so parents if you're having issues with this go to your child's middle school or high school on Tuesday give them a call and they'll give you all the information you need um, it's a great idea yeah definitely um, but also, I would recommend it's not just for the parents who have been having problems, for, but parents who maybe didn't know about it, you know, who might like to start following their kids' grades, you know, like the kids like I was who never returned their report cards or their deficiency notices to their parents. I never had any deficiency notices. Well, I, I was most improved student by the end of this, uh, the, uh, my four years in high school, so I'm not saying that I did well or bad the entire time but oh okay <laughs> yeah. um anyway let's uh get back on here again the uh libyan stories from yes. page news mm -hmm. um boone or burden debate livens in valley as state budget crunches endangers enterprise zones well we knew the budget crunch was going to do that yeah we knew we were, there was always going to be problems hopefully though local businesses will be able to stand their own and who knows maybe even uh Strive for better. Maybe I think better. we're going to have a little bit about that in the brief yes, later we are. on, unfortunately. Um, want to try a new one there, Sean? Let's see if he's going to go in the same order. We've been. See, we've been going in the same order. Ah, yay! I think it's because I've actually been printing them in alphabetical order this time. Oh, that's a good... Last couple of weeks. There we go. <laughs> the Modesto B. I think that, you know, the... The whole thing about the Academy Awards on this paper is just so pretty. And it's so yeah. pretty in color. I haven't seen it in color, and it's just so nice. And Natalie Portman was just so cute. <laughs> and who was it? Melissa Lee was just so crazy last night. I mean, it was a good show. Well, I, I have to say, I love the, the whole packet that Modesto B threw together. I'm a graphic artist. I did this as a living. This kind of stuff is a living. Whoever was doing it was having fun. And I, I want to congratulate them for that, that packet. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, I mean, here we've got all the... For the winners, yes, the supporting best actor, best actress, and su supporting actress, uh, just fantastic work mm -hmm. that these actors have done, actors and actresses. I haven't seen any of the movies that were nominated. Unfortunately, I want to see Black Swan so much. I haven't had a chance to, but there's some good work this year from what I've seen, even on the previews. I mean, yeah. Natalie Portman, hello. Well, she always <laughs> she earned that fun. Oscar. <laughs> Of course, yeah. She, she throws herself into the role, and that's one of the reasons why she is one of my favorite actresses. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. City fees up to 45% cut possible. Changes aimed to aid commercial and home development in Modesto. That's good news to hear from mm -hmm. Modesto. And then, unfortunately, in a little side packet here, bus fares rising. Come Tuesday, it's going to cost, um, let's see, 25 cents more for a person to ride the bus. It's now $1.50 instead of $1.25. And, uh, in Modesto, folks. Yes, in Modesto. And seniors, it looks like the rate for seniors and the disabled is going from $0.60 cents to $0.75. Cents. Wow. So. First Fresno, then what was it, Tulare? And now Modesto. And now Modesto. Oh, boy, folks. Hopefully we'll up. stop here. Yes. It'll, it'll, what's up? Whatever. It, it'll yeah. It'll stop. I, you know what? I, I got like three hours sleep last night. I'm like not here, right? Well, I feel the same way with 12 hours sleep, but um, one thing I do want to mention, though, with the money coming in from mm -hmm. uh, Obama, well, from the, from the government, for yes. the buses, it might not just be Fresno. I don't know for sure, but hopefully, you know, this can help everybody 
in the bus system. Oh, yeah. Lower the rates back down to a reasonable fee. You raise it high enough, people aren't even going to want to do public transportation. And with the gas going up to, what is it, $3 or $4 a gallon soon? Oh, yeah. I've seen gas at ridiculous prices over the last week. Right. That's why I'm thinking maybe if they started lowering the bus fees, maybe yeah, I might get a lot more riders and make up that money. But that's just you know, my thoughts. Well, we'll see. Yeah. Um, but with that money coming in, that will hopefully help that yes. possibility. Uh, Sean, if we can go to the next one. Again, the same top stories, mm -hmm. um, but in the central packet here, we've got Monday Merced Matters, UC students bridge language gap. Apparently, UC Merced students Jesse Anaya and Dulce Maria Anaya nope. uh, teamed up to develop a program that helps junior high and high school students whose first language isn't English pass the California high school exit exams. That's great to hear. Yeah. Really working their, their uh, hardest to try to help students out. So I, I knew quite a few people who, when I was in high school, brilliant kids, mm -hmm. but they just didn't know English that well. Yeah. It was very difficult for them to pass the, the normal test, let alone the exit exam. So I'm, glad I'm so glad I didn't have to take an exit exam. <laughs> I'd probably still be in high school at this point. And I graduated back in 2000. Like, I just, I don't think it would have gone well for me. For I'm sure schools. you would have been fine. I'm sure. Um, I don't even remember the exit exam. Did we have to take exit exams when we graduated? Sean, do you remember it at all? I don't think they were in place when we graduated. Well, if they were, it was just the standard testing that we were used to. Like the yearly tests, like the... the oh, I cannot remember the name of those yearly tests. I didn't take any... I, I, oh, like the... Like the, the PSATs or whatever well, they were? Well, not the PSATs, say, but the standardized like testing that Fresno Unified I, I, went, I went to private school. Yeah, we didn't, have, did, to, we didn't have to go by those standards. That's why <laughs> I know nothing at this point. I love you, Memorial. You're fabulous. <laughs> no, you didn't have to go by those standards, but that doesn't necessarily mean no, you had, had to go by higher standards. standards. Yeah, we just didn't have the exit exams that the public schools have. And you might have. You just didn't realize you were being tested. I think, might I, be, I think I'd know if I was being tested. Well, I know I'm a little flighty sometimes, but if somebody put a test in front of me and I had to take it, I think I'd realize it. What I mean is you might not have realized that it was a exit exam test, because I'm sure the test is state-issued, not just public school-issued. State-issued, maybe, but that's not going to go to a private education. Well, I would think it might that they might have to follow certain regulations, but that's just my opinion. They put us all in the cafeteria for the Fresno City placement exams. Well, they did that at Bullard High, too. Yeah, and, and how many people actually took those tests seriously? Well, I fell asleep during the test. There you go. But still, I, I went to That's why you ended up in English 125. I ended up in English 1A. Whatever. <laughs> okay, well, we've got to go to commercial break, All folks. Right, yeah. um, stay tuned. We've got a great show for you and some wonderful guests.